Greetings, friends and neighbors. It's me, your son. And today we're going to talk about Lamography 800. Well, we're going to we're going to talk about shooting 800 speed film in general um, because I think it's a scam. No, I'm kidding. Um, I just have thoughts about whether it's worth the money because they're all expensive. All the film stocks that you can get rated at 800 are really expensive, like really expensive. So let's just talk about some things that you know I have to talk about because it's a Lomography 800 video and we've got to follow the script. Lomography 800 is very expensive. It's actually slightly more expensive right now than Kodak Portrait 800. It's still not as expensive as Cine still. Some people believe that this film stock is actually Kodak Gold 800. It's really hard to get. Sometimes it's out of stock and it's really expensive. The grain is fine and the colors are finer. So when I first started shooting 800 speed film, uh, I mainly used it for moving around at blue hour or at night without using a tripod. So I could set my shutter to 1 60th, maybe sometimes 1 30th of a second. And then I would open the aperture, whatever I was using all the way up. Um, and so this allowed me to walk around. I didn't have to bring a tripod. I could keep the setup pretty light overall. And so I, I used like Cinestill Portrait 800 for that reason, I was really into like getting the nighttime gas station shots um, and just any artificial light coming from a, a building or a business. And so 800 speed film really worked well with that. Um, but I've found that I've changed over time in that I like to scout a little bit more and I like to be able to make sure that I'm using the aperture that I wanna use because 
when you open it all the way, it's not gonna be as sharp. Um, I do wanna maybe bring my tripod around. But the thing is, is 800 speed film, no matter what it is, it's really expensive. So I think if you're beginning, uh, I wouldn't jump into something like Portrait 800 or Lomography 800. Um, I would work up to it just to see how you like shooting, um, what you like taking photos of. If you are attracted to more nighttime scenes, then maybe do consider 800 if you don't like using a tripod and you can move around and and you know keep your shutter open for a little bit longer. So back in, I think, January um, in New York, when I was living in New York, um, I had the X-Pan and I had a roll of Lomography 800 uh, and I just spent one day walking around. There was like a small little snowstorm. Um, and so I walked around and I took some photos. And then to finish the roll, I basically just took it into Manhattan and I was just walking around taking photos of different buildings, just using the X-Pan uh, as much as I could before I gave it back. I didn't give it back, I sold it because I'm an idiot. You can leave, you can leave some nasty comments below if you want, I get it. So I think one thing that you should consider whenever you're maybe about to buy a certain film stock or you're looking at buying a certain film stock, you're watching all these stupid reviews, is how you would feel having that film stock in your camera when you find like the perfect subject or composition. Um, I, none of the photos I took here are by any means perfect. Um, but there were a couple times when I found myself in a situation like on the beach at Cape Cod or uh, when I was on a bridge in Maniunk, which is the town that you see me walking around in, where there were some pretty, pretty striking compositions where I knew that like I was, I needed to like nail this um, and that I got lucky because someone was standing some a certain way or the sun was doing something spectacular or I knew that I was in a location and I know I wasn't going to be there very long if you know if you're on a trip or something and you find yourself with a certain film stock in your camera how are you going to feel about using that stock on that subject are you going to be happy or are you going to think damn it I wish I had something else in my camera right now and I don't want to waste an entire roll or half a roll on this thing or maybe I don't even have another roll so I have to shoot this stuff so all that being said is when I have Lomography 800 in my camera, I usually feel pretty good. Um, I know that it's going, going to render some pretty fantastic colors. 800 is very versatile, so it doesn't have to be 
you know, at the exact right time of day for the stock to thrive. Oh, here's something. Uh, I recently, I, so I used to develop all my photos at home when I lived in Denton, Texas. Um, and I had to sell everything when I moved to New York because we had no more space, uh, in our apartment. Um, but I recently kind of got all the developing stuff back, um, which means I can start kind of putting more videos out more frequently because I've been just relying on the lab. Um, and it's, I'm really bad about just keeping the roles like in my, my little shelf thing and, and just letting them sit there and for whatever reason, not sending them off because I just haven't done it. And it's really expensive. That's the other thing is it was just getting too expensive. Anyway, all that to say is I think that I'm going to be making more videos. All right. I'll, I'm going to stop talking. I'll see you in the next one.